Hey guys, I'm Zen and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. Yes, today is Saturday, which means I will be showing you guys all latest figures that we have acquired in the past few weeks, okay? Right here on the table, as you guys can see, we have lots of new items for us to review. And of course, I'll be showing you guys the latest figures, okay? But before we get started, we have to head over to... Level 2 Jurassic World Midlands to pick up all our latest figures so follow me guys let's go all right guys welcome back to Level 2 Jurassic World Midlands so we have to select all the latest figures that we have actually added recently okay so let's begin okay so here we have lots of new merch okay so all of them will go into the box let's pick up some of these smaller figures like you know the one from wild packs and stuff you guys seen the latest Iguanodon, so right now we have two of them. We have a new Scorpio Venator as well, which is really really beautiful. Have you guys seen like the latest captive Triceratops as well as the T-Rex? A new Pachycephalosaurus as well, but I can't remember which is actually the new one. All about the new Zuniceratops as well as the baby Brachiosaurus. New Raptor as well. You guys can see I have actually selected a few figures you know to show you guys later on let's head over here because we have lots of new figures new mini figures from our mini shelf so I'm gonna select all the latest ones um, and I'll um, show it to you guys okay so let's do this all right guys so now we are back in the basement Dino Dungeon it's time for us to take a look at our new figures you know these are some of this gashapon that I've just ordered from um japan it has finally arrived i can't wait to see them because i think one of them is actually a therizinosaurus and one of them is a, a giga so let's have a look at, at them wow this one is cool this is definitely a therizinosaurus so let's uh cut this open um where's my pair of scissors i have no idea where is my scissors okay it's it's probably missing but i'm going to use the box cutter to um just cut this loose so, yep, let's have a look. Wow, and speaking of my scissors, which is missing, it's kind of, um, it's, it's going to be really, really inconvenient for me. So you can see, this is actually a Therizinosaurus from Takara Tomi. Takara Tomi Arts, which is, um, you know, like a premium brand. So let's have a look at this. It's basically a mini Therizinosaurus. Hopefully, hopefully, um, the joints are like tight enough because I know that some of the figures they have very very weak joints so yeah so hopefully this one actually works very well let's pop in the tail very cool this is awesome okay I think this is um you just have to pop in the legs right here it's very tight which is a good thing because I remember the ones that we have for, you know, for the raptors are actually very, very weak. So this is definitely way, way, way better. So let's pop in the, the arms. Kind of tight, which is good. So you can see this is a beautiful Therizinosaurus. Awesome. Wow, it looks pretty good, I would say. Takara told me art. So there is a Giga, the Lophosaurus and um, Therizinosaurus and a T-Rex so we have all four of them which I'm pretty excited about so let's proceed to the next one shall we all right let's open up another one how about this this is probably the T-Rex I'm most excited about the Giga so I definitely want to um, fix the Giga first how about let's go with the Giga first Absolutely happy that this has finally arrived. Okay, just gonna cut like a little slit right here. Alright. So it also comes with a similar leaflet, so I'm not gonna show it to you guys again. Let's pop in the head. Okay. Alright. And now for the legs, this is way better than the previous series that um you know you, you get for the pyroraptors and the atrociraptors, um because 
it's actually way tighter which means that it will be more stable and here's the tail wow this is actually a pretty decent figure i would say gorgeous okay pop in the tail and now for the tiny little arms okay wow it's so tough all right check this out the gigar is done oh my goodness this is a beautiful gigar but the colors doesn't seem right because it is you know gray in color which should be you know technically green you know if you follow the movie the gigar should be green but i'm super happy that you know about these two figures they look absolutely incredible really really beautiful i would say next let's fix up the t-rex how about that just gonna cut like a little slit right here yeah i always like tell you guys like you know be really careful when you're using the box cutter so let's have a look at this looks really really beautiful let's just pop in head here's uh, the tail the legs should be easily fixed the arms are already attached to the body so there's no fixing needed so the t-rex is actually much faster and easier to fix than the rest and i really love how tight the joints are which is good because i know the atrocity raptors i i had a hard time with them so you can see beautiful t-rex so yeah i'm just super lucky that you know when i was making this video it just arrived which is a good thing okay let's get this out the last one is basically the lophosaurus so just gonna call a little sleep right here Okay, this one seemed to be much more complicated, so we definitely need to fix this up uh, better, I'd say. This one's definitely a very, very cool one. I have to put, in, I have to put it through. Um, how do we do this? I got it on the wrong side, which is why I had a hard time fixing it. And you just pop in the head like this. Let's pop in the tail. This is actually very, very fun. So I think majority of you guys will be asking me, like, you know, how do you guys, how, how did I actually got this? Um, I basically order from a China online site that delivers um, products that are actually source products from Japan. And it was able to ship to my country which is in singapore so i think if you are like residing in um um like us which you know majority of my viewers are it will be quite difficult to actually find this online so yeah maybe one day i'll be able to get more of this and uh, i can create like an online store yeah that's actually my, my my plan you know when um you know maybe 10 years down the road if I'm not making any more videos, but I will still be making videos for sure. I think I'm gonna be making videos until like I'm super old. Yeah, I'll continue to be making videos and hopefully one day I'll be able to have some of my online store I can sell some of my collection to you know you guys. I think that'll be cool. So check this out, the Lophosaurus. So these four figures are just incredible, but you can see that the Lophosaurus is, is not standing. Yeah, so this is my biggest issue with some of these figures. The bigger ones are definitely very cool, but you know the, the, the Lophosaurus is definitely one that can stand, which is which, which which is very very annoying for me. Okay, so hopefully I can find a way to make it stand. Maybe put some blue tag be beneath the feet. I think that that may work. Yeah, it's able to stand right now, but I think after a while it would just fall over. All right, guys, so let's take a look at other figures. Um, which one shall we begin with? Have you guys seen this? This is basically the Giganotosaurus from Nanmu Studio. It's a really beautiful one. It doesn't have any articulation, but I think it is such an incredible figure. All right, next up, we have a new item to open up right here. 
but I'm thinking whether to um, display this you can probably open this but of course I will still be keeping it in this box but I definitely want to show it to you guys like how it looks like okay so let's open this up together but I'll be keeping it in its box later on so let's try to open this Hey, check this out this is basically the nano set on and I think it's looking super cool so you can basically lift this up you know maybe you can keep the protection on so that it doesn't get dusty but you can see we have like two cars right here really beautiful Ford Explorer and the Jeep Wrangler so I think the gate can be open and closed as well and this part can be attached so I'm not too sure where I'm gonna place this probably at level 2 um, Jurassic World Midlands or we could potentially put it in our um, Monster Island room all right so you can see all the plants are nicely fitted onto this you know mini diorama and you can also put this little plant right here I basically live one just to show it to you guys it's kind of hot you have to like use a lot of strength to actually get it in and you can see it's not easy so yep i think right here you can see the footprints of a tyrannosaurus rex which looks awesome so maybe we can actually use this and put it right here wow it looks kind of cool and it also comes with like two mini bushes which i think are supposed to be placed right over here there's a like, little slot right here so once you remove this plastic sheet the plants can actually be placed right there all right so let's move on to other items okay i think before we you know take a look at other um you know open all the eggs first let me show you guys like some of the latest items have you guys seen the concavenator um, this was just added to our collection recently. This is a Hammond collection concavenator, which is known as the Hunter, the Hunchback Hunter from Quankor. This is also a new addition, the Ankylosaurus from the Hammond collection, which I think it's really beautiful. The Pachycephalosaurus as well, which is also just added. So this is an awesome one. Um, the Nonicus, sorry. Velociraptors, not a Deinonychus. This has just been added like two days ago. We just opened this on Tuesday. And of course, the Joe Sternberger, another new Hammond collection figure. All right, let's move on and take a look at other figures. Have you guys seen this? This be, um, what do you call this? I can't remember what these are actually called. They are good to grow pots. So. I've got them from eBay, so you can see this is, uh, I think this is blue, if I'm not, no, this is not blue, this is Delta, and this is um, blue, but you can see they have actually used the exact paint work, um, you know, the straps are actually very similar, I don't think Delta has a strap across the eye, and that's blue, and this is um, the T-Rex and Triceratops, very cool figures that we have just added recently, and of course, have you guys seen like the latest Jurassic Park minis? So these are really good uh, minifigures. So let's open some of them together. Um, hopefully I'm able to get a new, hopefully I'm able to get like a new um, golden Velociraptor. I think that will be cool. So let's have a look. I'll, maybe I'll not be opening every single one of these eggs right here. It depends. So let's have a look. Oh, we've got a, another raptor and of course it comes with a collector's card which I think it's a uh, really cool so you can see this is actually like the little leaflet it says there are like 18 to collect but we only have like uh, nine of them okay and I'm hoping to get another golden metallic baby raptor I think that would be cool this is basically um, the Jurassic Park Velociraptor nice yeah, I, lo I love all these minifigures. I think they are really fantastic. But I don't think this can stand. Oh, it can stand, which is cool. All right, let's move on. I've actually brought some of the latest figures. I mean, I mean, you guys already know that. So, Iguanodon. There is a new Iguanodon, which I really, really quite. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm, it's something that I'm really excited about because this Iguanodon is actually a new color scheme. 
It's a raw striker. Okay, it's a raw striker. I'm not too sure whether I've already scanned this in my Fax app. I think so. So, I mean, if you guys haven't done it, you can actually scan this in your Fax app. I think I've already scanned it, and it is definitely a different uh, entry, a different code, as you guys can see. Yeah, so we have two raw strikers, Iguanodon, with different color scheme. So, which one do you guys prefer? I feel both are. Both are cool. This one actually looks more contrasting with because you know it has like dark patterns on a lighter shade of um color, and this one uh, the colors are not so obvious. But both are equally beautiful, I would say. Okay, I've actually brought another stuff to show you guys. Okay, so have you guys seen this? I think if you have like followed me every single video, you might have seen this. Seen this before. So this is basically a very cute triceratops shade. So it's like a sunglass that you can wear on your, um, on your, on your face, basically. So I, I got this because it look it looks like a mask. Okay. Next up, let's have a look at other figures. I've actually brought some non Jurassic World figures to show it, show you guys as well. This is the Mosasaurus from Collecte. I think this is a really really beautiful Mosasaurus. And speaking of Mosasaurus, yes. I still owe you guys like a repaint and I've also brought this one as well this is like a prehistoric animal known as a smoke S-M-O-K yeah I think it looks like a you know like a poster suckers yeah this is something that we have just acquired not too long ago as well okay shall we open up another rig this one actually contains some glow in the dark figures you know on Thursday when I open three eggs i actually got all glow in the dark figures which you know was quite unbelievable to me so let's open this and this actually contains glow in the dark slime which i think looks absolutely gorgeous okay let me show you guys okay this is the glow in the dark slime it's actually pretty cool. This slime is not as slimy as the one from Jurassic Park, which um, which is kind of like it sticks to your hand like very very. Um, I mean, it, it really sticks to your hand, and you can't remove them. Unlike this um, glow in the dark slime, which is kind of like it's kind of fun, and it doesn't stick to your hands, which is awesome. Okay, if. I'm getting another glow in the dark. I'm just going back to the seller and tell him, you know, thanks so much because every single figure that you have given me is like glow in the dark. I don't think so. Yeah, I, I don't think it's possible. So we've got um the new Paris Royal Fish. Okay, I know there's a new series. There's a new blue series, uh, which actually contains uh, a new series of dinos. So hopefully. We are able to get them as well, but you can see this is basically um, uh, the series which contains two two new figures, which is the glow in the dark figures. But we already have both of them, so that's okay. All right, let's move on and take a look at other figures that I've brought. Scorpio Vanator is also a new addition. Yep, this is a new repaint. Um, the previous Scorpio Vanator, which I have brought, was actually the first. Jurassic World Dominion figure. This was the first one, along with uh, Rajasaurus. So this was the very first Jurassic World Dominion figure. It's a raw striker, of course. And they did a repaint. They did a repaint. Um, if you ask me, I definitely prefer the original one because the color, color palette is definitely better. It's more contrasting. Whereas if you take a look at this, it's kind of like washed out. The dark brown. I mean this brown, there's a yellow, uh, light cream color and there's an orange patterns. The orange patterns don't really stand out that much according to, I mean, at least to me. Okay, next up, are there more um, figures on the table which I've yet to show you guys? Okay, basically the Lophosaurus. The Lophosaurus is basically known as the Double Crested Lizard, not because of this frill, but because of these two crests on top of his head okay it's known as double crested lizard and if you guys have like done research before the lophosaurus basically didn't have this frill okay it is basically something that jurassic park has created to make the lophosaurus look cooler yeah i'm not kidding you it's it's true it's true 
Okay, next up, another new figure. Yes, this is the white raptor. Okay, there's a bit of like um, wool along, you know, on the arms. I'm not too sure why. And this is the code for you guys to scan. This is basically a you know another repaint of the Velociraptor. And fun fact for you guys, Velociraptors they are actually quite small. They are about the size of a peacock. Yep, I'm not kidding you. They're not as big as what we have seen in you know Jurassic Park. Okay. Um one minute guys. Have you guys seen this? This is basically the legacy collection. Pachycephalosaurus that was just added to our collection literally as you guys can see it has a drawer coat yeah this coat is not at the bottom of the feet which um you know was the case for the older figures so yeah this is like i think we have like five different Pachycephalosaurus one is a battle damage um you know the other are uh, basically more or less the same as this yeah this was added quite recently as well okay Another recent figure. Check this out, guys. These are basically the keychains. So, Therizinosaurus um, was a new release, whereas this was actually like a, you know, an old figure. But I don't have um, the older ones as well, which is why I, I only got it like quite recently. Let me just check out the date. Is there like a date right here? Um, yeah, I just want to make sure that this is really an old version. Not too sure. It doesn't have the date for sure. Okay, very cool stuff. I love all this like little cute merchandise. I think they look very very nice. Okay, some of the figures right here on the table. Velociraptor, Hammond Collection, Swift Caesar, or the Speedy Teeth, Triceratops, the Three Horn Face. This is a classic figure. I love it. Parasaurolophus, another classic figure which is known as the Near Crested Lizard. You guys are should be more familiar than me. I don't even know what does Jostern Burger means. If you guys know what does I mean what the name actually means, Jostern Burger, let me know down below. Okay? Let's open up another one. This one is um um you know the one that contains the glow in the dark slime. So let's open up another one. Okay. The slime is actually very very fun so I don't mind opening them and it's not messy at all. It doesn't stick to my hands. I don't have to use like a wet wipe to um, clean my hands, you know. Uh, you know which which is not which is not the case for the Jurassic Park um, egg. So this one is actually very very fun to play with. Oh, what is this? I want a galley mimers got oh catzer quadlers this is nice because we don't have many catzer quadlers it's actually quite rare catzer quadlers is um wow the serpent of like it's like the king serpent i can't remember the name what does the name mean i think it's like the serpent oh, i just can't remember so if you guys know let me know down below so catzer quadlers i think it's basically like the biggest figure yeah, I think it's the most majestic looking one. And you can see the killer rating is actually pretty cool. On oh, a killer rating of 8, intelligence of only 4. Okay, next up, I brought two Baryonics because we haven't seen the Baryonics for a very, very long time. Do you guys remember the names? This is Baryonyx Grim, G R I M, and this is Baryonyx Chaos. This is basically a um, raw attack, and this it's a sound strike. Still working. So Baryonyx, if you if you guys take a look at this, look at the first claw. It's longer than the other two, which is why it is known as the heavy claw. So you can see we are running out of space. So I'm gonna put my um, um, figures right here. This is like a mini little table where I put some of my. You know, new items which are, you know, what I mean, to be unboxed. So let's have a look at other figures in the box. I've actually, have you guys in this Legacy Collection Joe Sternberger, and this is the Hammond Collection. So they do have a lot of similarities, and of course the code is right here. I'm just gonna show you guys the code, just in case this is your first time on Dan Surprise. You can, you know, scan it and have it recorded into your 
collection, okay? Right here, we have the Austroraptor as well as the Alephasaurus. These two are new addition, and speaking of new additions, there are lots of new figures coming up which I'm super excited about. The one which I'm most excited about is definitely the Red Rex. Okay, next up, I'm gonna show you guys some of these epic figures. The Gigar is the latest edition. It just arrived two to three days ago. Finally, we've added this to our collection, which is awesome. Um, the other one is basically blue. So these are actually from a brand called Movie Mate. I wouldn't say they are like super fantastic figure, but um, they are quite cool. And this is a new Giga edition. And right now, I'm I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Gigar, but of course, my my most favorite dinosaur is still the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay. Next up, gonna show you guys like the um, Ju Jurassic Park 30th anniversary figures from Captive Collection with the Triceratops, and this is the um, T Rex. So T Rex versus Triceratops, they used to be like arc rivals, and Triceratops could possibly also take down a T Rex. I'm not kidding you. And these are basically the glow in the dark figures that we've got, guys. The Parasaurolophus was the one that I was like hoping to get for like the longest time but we, we keep getting the T-Rex but I don't mind getting the glow in the dark figures because they are uh, supposed to be quite rare I think, uh, yeah, they're the rarest figures in the collection Okay, next up This one I think so far it's um, the one which is hardest to get Okay, we got this from um, Captive to from Toy Monster, they actually sent us a set so I'm quite happy with it. And um, this is the um, Parasaurolophus. Okay, and speaking of that, let's open up another one. Okay, I usually open this egg eggs by slicing the wrapper open because um, the dotted lines on the side doesn't work well. So I usually do it this way, which is easier for me. So let's see. Let's see what we can get this time. Hopefully we get a, a cool figure. I don't want to open this slime because this slime is like super sticky. I do not wish to like dirty my collection or my, my hands. Oh, we've got a T-Rex guys. Okay. I like I like the card for sure, but I'm not a huge fan of uh, um, the slime. Yeah, the figure, the figure is definitely awesome. Hopefully this can stand as well. If I remember correctly, the T-Rex is not able to stand very, very well. Yep, you can see, it's not standing. It's kind of annoying. Okay, <laughs> let's move on to our next one. Okay, so Brachiosaurus is also one of the latest figures that we have added. And um, this is basically the baby Brachiosaurus that you can find in uh, Camp Cretaceous. I brought the other two just to do a comparison. All right. What are the other figures in the box? We have the Zuni Ceratops. This is basically the latest one. What is this known as? Uh, is this known as the Danger Pack? Uh, no, uh, I can't remember. Um, wow. I mean, this is basically like the Savage Strike equivalent. And this was basically the um, past Wow Pack. This one is a, like an upgraded version. You can even find some feathers on his body, which is kind of cool, but weird at the same time because I'm not too sure whether it was supposed to have like um, feathers. So Tyrannosaurus Rex, Gallimimus, which is known as the Chicken Mimic. This figure can stand, which is kind of uh, annoying. You can't even balance. Oh, you can balance it on his tail, which is not bad. I mean, I mean at least you can do it, do that. Uh, the T-Rex, this one I think it can stand if I'm not wrong. Nah, it can't really stand as well. So this figure, yeah, some of them are pretty annoying I would say. <laughs> they just keep falling over. Okay. Um, the mini Triceratops. Triceratops is definitely one that doesn't have any issues standing Parasaurolophus. Uh, you have the um, Velociraptor Hatchling. Okay. The Dilophosaurus right here and the Brachiosaurus. So these are basically the latest series of um, the Jurassic Park Captive Collection. Let's open our last one. We still have a ton of um, the eggs to open up, uh, you know, for future videos because I've actually ordered like a ton of um, the eggs. Okay, 
I'm still hoping to get the blue ones. The blue ones are really hard to find. Okay, let's see. So this is the slime. I don't think I'll be opening the slime again. So let's have a look. Our last egg of the day. Oh, we've got a pyro. Nice. Okay, the pyro. Cool. So let's pop in. Oh my goodness, did I just... Where's the head? Wait a minute, guys. Let me try to find a head. It's in, it's still in the pack. <laughs> I've basically put the pack on the floor. And, uh, but fortunately, we are able to find it. Let's pop in the head. So this is basically a pyro raptor. Very cool. Alright, let's uh, move on. Check this out. What is this? This is the um, Adiphosaurus. That's right. It's not a Dimetrodon. It's an Adiphosaurus. Um, I can't even remember how you actually operate this. It basically just twist the tail. And this is the new Herrerasaurus. Alright guys, are there any more new updates? Um, let me show you I mean, let me show you guys quickly around the room, okay? Alright guys, check this out. It's quite a mess right now. As you guys can see, the entire table is um, filled with the different figures. Um, the new updates is basically the Hammond Collection shelf, which I think you guys have already seen it before. So, we are definitely going to be putting um, the Hammond Collection right here. For the nan Nano scene, I'm thinking maybe we can actually put it right here. Can maybe put it right here but this is basically like, like a little corner you know where I put all the random figures um, so maybe that place is not a good idea or we could potentially put it right here or maybe here since we have a little space right here yeah I think we can put the nano scene over here or we could put it in the monster island room which is also not a bad idea let me um, turn on the lights all the lights Okay, so this is basically the Monster Island room. Uh, we can also consider putting um, um, the nano scene maybe on the shelf, on one of this shelf. It's also possible. So I want you guys to like, let me know down below like where should we put a nano uh, scene? Should we put it in Monster Island room? Or should we put it um, right here? I'll remove this Jurassic Park set and Ian Malcolm put it right here. Should we put it right here or should we put it at the shelf over there? You know where Goku is. Let's you know down below, okay? Thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.